Bourne Co. was founded in 1975 by Larry Bourne and Lloyd Cole. They started out as a machine tool retrofitter, rebuilder, and today we've grown into a machine tool company that we have a whole line of standard new machine tools that we designed. We started out rebuilding machines, so we take older machines and rebuild them. The big emphasis back in those days was to take all the manual machines, the machines that weren't CNC and make them CNC, and Panic was a big help to us. Our business is divided in four segments where we have aftermarket business, we have the grind machine tool business, we have the gear machine tool business, and we have mill turn bore specials. Today, Born & Co. is the owner of 28 machine tool companies that over the years had gone out of business and now the intellectual property resides with Born & Co. We've taken those designs, we've updated them. We have 28 brands that we are the OEM for and upstairs we have 2,500 years of engineering to draw from. Legacy Brands, there's a lot of great technology that has been developed over the years and we're taking that engineering into the future. We have controls like for our surface grinders that are very simple, but then we have five, six, seven, eight axis machines that are very complex. So Fanny covers that whole range really well for us. There are times when we need to go to Fanuc and come up with a new feature request, and they're very responsive to that, and they've always come through for us. I'm the business unit manager for grinding machine tools at Born & Co. I work mainly with Blanchard grinders, surface grinders, uh, vertical rotary surface grinders, and the vertical IDOD grinders under our Springfield line. On our Blanchard grinders, we expect them to hit plus or minus two tenths flatness, whether it's a new machine or a remanufactured machine. So over the course of the last couple of years, we've really focused on redesigning and redefining what the Blanchard grinder is. One of the big advantages of migrating the Blanchard from the PowerMate to the 35i was that we got the addition of Fanuc Picture, which allowed us to develop our own HMI for Blanchard grinders. With a lot of gear hobbing and shaping, there's a lot of the electronic gearbox, the flex sync, those types of features really help us make our machines perform the actions. We eliminated a ton of gearing in our gear generating machines by the features within the Fanuc control. We make special machine tools where you have a problem, you can't solve that problem from a commodity type machine tool, so you come to us, work with us, we'll engineer a machine tool to create a solution to produce your product. And on all those products we use FANUC controls. One of our goals right now is to millennialize the control of the machine. Make the control so simple to interface with that somebody off the street could program a gear on the machine. A lot of that's through the PC front end that communicates directly with the fan and control through the high-speed serial bus, the HSSB. Having a single platform has really simplified my controls engineering. I think the support we've got has been much better on the FANUC end than some of the others because the guys seem to know the whole control and some of the other control systems, they have dedicated people for each part of the control. What the newer controls do, there's more and more of the internet capability where we can actually analyze some of the problems over the internet. So FANUC has been good about bringing that stuff on board too. We've standardized on the FANUC control on all these machine tools because we found that it's widely accepted throughout the world. We've never run up against a solution that couldn't be provided with a FANUC control. 